Okay, still trying to get the uh, SP250 back together, having done the spark plug tubes and the adjusted the valve gear. Uh, just thought I'd document this. The rocker covers, uh, they're supposed to have a, a cork gasket, which is a bit of a pain. What I've done in the past is to put a bead of um, silicon sealant around the, the rim directly onto the rocker cover so that it adheres to it but leave the, the, the lower side, when well it's up this way on the engine, um, <coughs> uh, free, so it's not stuck to anything. So I've done it in the past with um, clear silicon, because that's all I had at the time, and I uh, say so put it on this, and just rested it on the engine, um, and let it set for a few days. And then with a bit of luck, you can just lift it off, the silicon comes off, firmly attached to the the, uh, the rocker cover and you can then just take it on and off as you need which worked really well the trouble is with it doing it on the engine I did it some years ago now and, it, and I didn't perhaps do it particularly well um, the lower edge in particular was not very thick by the time it had been resting on the engine and squished out of it um, and that was starting to peel off when I took it off this time so I'm going to redo it <clears throat> this time I'm going to use the Good old 5910 Loctite black silicon, which is be a bit stiff, I think. Um, my, so what my plan is, uh, I use this, it's actually a set square, very old, um, but I use this because it's nice and thick and obviously very flat, so it's a good way of scraping the surface, get the, uh, the worst of the the gasket material off, any sort of general crud, so that works very well and you're pretty sure that you're keeping everything flat. <coughs> um, I've then gone over it with a Dremel, just with a, a light uh, wire brush in it, just to clean up that surface. I'll wipe it down with a bit of um, alcohol or something just to get any final grease off and then I'll stick a bead of silicon on. The plan then is to uh, drop the whole thing horizontally onto this bit of old kitchen worktop. As you can see I've marked around the edge already. That fits in there. Um, so I'm planning on putting some petroleum jelly on here, a fairly generous smear of jelly around here, and hoping that that will act as a release agent. So again, if I leave this with its silicon on on here for a couple of days, maybe even a week for that matter, because I'm not in any rush at the moment, then um, the silicon will set firmly, and I can just lift this off and stick it on the engine. But uh, time will tell how well that works. <coughs> Let's just run around this with a bit of meths. So if I were fussy, I should have had this properly polished and bleed burst, sorry, bead blasted on the inside, get all this brown crud out. But, uh, and also get it properly polished, because these do polish up really nicely, as I'm sure you know, on the outside. But um, I've given it a rough polish with a buffing mop and some soap. <coughs> But uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really a polishing person, so this will do for me. You see, it's a bit rough here with a bit of wet and dry paper, and then polishing it could be really nice. But um, that doesn't look too bad. That'll do. Um, okay, so I'll now stick a bead of stuff on and see what happens. Okay, so I've gone to some lengths to uh, try and get a nice even coat of Vaseline on here. I used a piece of, it's actually a post-it note, just to rub round finally to try and get a nice smooth surface. I don't want any lumps and bumps in it. So hopefully the, uh, the silicone won't stick to the Vaseline, but uh, time will tell, I guess. <coughs> Meanwhile, I've put a fairly generous bead of uh, the black silicone around this. I'm hoping that it will, say, squish out slightly 
and I can trim it round with a craft nice afterwards but uh, as I say time will tell whether it comes off the board at all. Oh, there we go. Near enough. So I think that's touching everywhere. Let's get a slight squish. Try and make sure that the bead is even. <coughs> see it all the way around there. Right, well fingers crossed. I'll probably leave it for several days because it's, it's pretty thick and quite broad. The air can only get in from either side so, uh, so it's going to take a while to set in the middle I think. I suppose I should really put some kind of test piece down. Anyway. Maybe if when I do the other side, I'll, I'll do that. Good. Okay, so this is now, um, I think it's three days later. <coughs> and this seems to have set the uh, sealant. So I was trying to get it off. It seemed quite stuck. I was a bit worried that it was going to stick properly, but it's... Oop, there you go. It's come off the um Yeah the Vaseline that I put on there, petroleum jelly. And uh it doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> There's a few grooves here and there, but I think that'll work okay. It's probably about uh I'd say a millimetre thick. So if I get a craft knife with a scalpel and just trim round the outside and the inside. I think that's good to go. So that seems to work. So um, I thought afterwards that I perhaps have used gear oil or something, some kind of mineral oil instead of the Vaseline. But um, so the Vaseline seems to have worked. So there's a bit of yeah, a bit of silicon has attached here and there but not uh, yeah not perfect yeah I'm not sure what I'll do with the other side maybe I will use um, some gear oil next time something nice and viscous I've got some um, yeah EV 140 I think is it anyway it's the stuff you use in a seagull uh, outboard gearbox which is a really heavy gear oil so perhaps I'll use that next time <clears throat> anyway, so far so good. We're just using this uh, ordinary scalpel type craft knife thing. It seems to work reasonably well. Just trim, trim along this edge. Leaves a reasonable finish, but a bit of tidying up. End up with a nice um, consistent black line around the edge. Okay, so it's nice to run around the inside of the cover, and the um, the excess came out virtually in one go. So that was actually easier than running around the outside. Or maybe I'm just getting slightly more practice at it. But uh, anyway, so far. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Whip this one back on the engine and um, starts on the other side.